Hey, very fresh. It's the 1st of August, Augustus, 2019. And this is something I just uh, was shown here this morning that comes across to me as something I should share with you. Uh, I personally suggest that you build your treasures in heaven. However, this is the kind of thing that can affect a lot of people, and this information may help someone, and so I'm sharing it. And it's pertaining to the stock market. It's pertaining to these ritualistic patterns and various magic they use through their fake stock markets and whatnot. But this affects families and uh, people's nest eggs, if you will. Um, I believe that this may be signaling the next and final stage of this economic reset, if you will. The new world currency. Um, the Dow Jones closed down yesterday. 333 points and that jumped out at me because I had just done a video not too long ago pertaining to this stuff and uh, this came back to my memory how the Dow plunged to 666 points as another rate angst you know this whole uh, interest rate ridiculousness it's all a giant farce people it's it's just a bunch of Satan worshiping bankers sucking the wealth out of you, your life energy that you invest in your work to get this fake phony money that they just steal from you, okay? But that's beside the point. Like I say, you need to be building your treasure in heaven anyway because this whole thing is coming to an end, all right? One way or another. But if it does tarry, you know, you need to be prudent. God did give us a sound mind to understand these things. So, this may affect some people. You may want to do some things to get yourself squared away. Because I believe this is signaling a next phase. Okay, The, the 333 and the 666 occurred 544 days apart from each other. Okay, You know, 333 times 2 is 666. 544 times 2 is 1088. 1088 is exactly when the, the Economist magazine... 188 January of 1988 was released okay so this all ties together okay that the new world currency it says 2018 well the Dow happened to fall 666 on February 2nd 2018 that was a signal now it's down 333 okay 544 days later I hope you understand what I'm saying to you. I just believe this is signaling a next phase. They're going to introduce their new world currency economic system somehow, but I believe it's going to come about through a calamity, if you will, in the economy. Okay, because this our, the United States and world economy is the worst it's ever been in history. But they have a very, very cunning way of making you believe otherwise. But it's not true, and this is all coming to an end. And they may very well introduce like a jubilee, a debt forgiveness, but that's not going to help you. It's just going to give you another false hope that these men who have lied to you for centuries, okay, are finally, once and for all, they're all going to work for the betterment of mankind. <laughs> This is just a very, very peculiar thing that I saw that came across my spirit as something to share with you, and so I am. I believe this is signaling the next phase. And, uh, oh yeah, one other thing. I've had several comments, several uh, questions and communications and whatnot of people asking me about August 11th, okay? Which is also Tisha B'Av in the Jewish calendar, which I refer to as the Jewish 9-11. Um, so I did start looking into it a little bit, and so far it's pretty fascinating, the things that are being revealed to us. So I can't wait to share that with you. Just fascinating times, people. Jesus Christ is the only guide, the only door, the only way. You need him in your life to navigate this. I say it over and over again, but it's true. So I pray you know him, seek him diligently, daily, and uh, peace and grace to you all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord.
and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 